first round heats of the Stan James Springbok from Wimbledon. Two and a half years ago, we introduced you to the trials and tribulations of Castledale Lad. He was the greyhound whose career looked over before he'd even raced, having been badly injured in a trial. We followed his rehabilitation, and months of rest and recuperation followed, patience being the watchword for connections, and the lady who looked after him most, Lorraine Sams. Hours on the treadmill were followed by home walks and gallops before a remarkable return to the track. King, as he was known, now had a chance of doing what he loved most, racing. Fairy tale was completed with wins for Seamus Cahill and Lorraine and four victories on Sky. His team of owners are well known to you. They include Sky producer Dave Lawrence and his brother Clive, who produced this programme. And it was Clive who recently went to visit King, now in retirement at his new home in Kent, with Tom and Madeleine Manning. Hello, Tom. Hello, Clive. Please have you. Come on. Thank you. And we were eager to find out how Tsar, as he's now known, he's become a Russian king, no less, is getting on. So tell us, how's King settled in? Fabulous. Absolutely yeah, absolute fine. Fabulous. Absolutely fine, no problems. He's a big dog, is he hard to handle? No, no, no. he's as easy as anything. You can walk out, you can walk alongside you, he doesn't pull. Um, he's fine with most of the dogs. Um, and it's a joy to walk around with him. Yes. It is absolutely joy, especially when we, we take him over to the field and we can let him off have a run with our other dog, dog Molly. It's brilliant to watch them. And they're, they're not aggressive at all. Unfortunately, other dogs might be aggressive to them. But most of the time, they, they're just great. And I'm afraid to tell you that she is the power behind the throne now. She tells him what to do. She, she has her boundaries and he's allowed to go just so far. So if she doesn't want him to run around the field, then she'll try and stop him running around the field and correct him if he's going too near something she wants. And won't let him play unless she wants to play. So she's, she's actually the boss of the two, although she's a lot smaller. So he's been tamed by a lady. That's of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So any problems with him in the early days? No. No, no. no we were pretty all. lucky because um, with having Molly, she showed him the ropes. Obviously, when it came into the house, um, when we first picked him up without an experience with greyhounds before, we took him round, walked him round everywhere, walked him round the house, the back garden, and let him know that this is where he was now. Let him get comfortable, and he's been absolutely fine. Molly, as I say, she's shown him all the ropes, what to do. Oh. He's brilliant, absolutely brilliant he is. I mean, he did a double take when he first saw the hoover. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that was, but now he just lays in the middle of the carpet and I have to go round him. So he's perfectly at mm. home, doesn't take any notice of the washing machine anymore. Once again, he watched it a couple of times, then decided it wasn't going to chase him, so he walked off and laid down and ignored it. So, yes, he's settled in at home beautifully. Madeline and Tom have had other dogs, but more recently favoured greyhounds. Sar now shares his home with pal Molly, whose gentle nature typifies the breed. They're not in your face. They, when you come home, they're really <clears> pleased to see you. Um, they want their affection. They, they come and lay at your feet. Mm. Um, of an evening when we're watching the television, Molly will come and lay next to the settee, next to Tom, rolls on her back and they hold hand and paw. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> Zar comes and usually lays next to me and has his head tickled and neck, he loves his neck tickled. Mm. And that's how we spend most of the evening. And then when they've had enough and they don't want to watch TV anymore, they take themselves off to bed and we usually have to wake them up to take them out for their last walk. What do they like being left alone at home? Brilliant. Absolutely fine. We, we've never touched wood. In all the years we've, we've had greyhounds, we've never ever had any problems, have we? No. Not no. once. There's never been any um, dirty, nothing ever ripped or bitten or anything like that. No, the fine. no problems. The, the main thing is, when the dogs first come into the, the house, you have to show them that that's where they're, they're living now. And if you can make it into a smallish type of room, because mm -hmm. the mistake we made when we first got a greyhound, we gave it the run of the house. And they don't want that. They want they're to used to a kennel, the, yes. A kennel, and that's what they're happy being there. Yes. If they want to get move around, they can do, but they know it's that's where their bed is and that's where they stay. They're more than happy to do yes, that. Yes, that little bit enclosed area, mm. and they Gives feel very more. secure. Yeah, they do, yeah. 
Do you think that's why they're good being left on their own because they're used to it? In the yes, I, I think probably their kennel experience mm. teaches them that they're not going to be out and about all day long, that mm. there are times when you have sleeps and you wait and then you're taken out. And I think they like um, a routine. A routine. Yeah. And they very much mm. know when it's time to go for a, a walk mm. and, and they'll let you know. They'll get up and wander around and you think, oh, yes, time must be mm. getting on. And we, Yes, and we look at the clock and we, they're usually dead on time. Zara and Molly go for regular walks, but nothing too strenuous. They settled into the routine of home life, Molly having shown Zara the ropes. She's helped the transition from racing kennel to homing, which has been a smooth one. You, you just don't get any problems at all off them. If you treat them properly, you're laughing. It's, it's a friend for life, and there's nothing better than having the stress of wear, coming home, being greeted by them too, and the wife, <laughs> and them too. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You come down, sit down, get yourself changed, sit down, have your cup of tea, and have a little play with the dogs, and it's brilliant. It takes all the stress out. And all then the you go out. for a walk, which once go again, for a walk, yeah, and then you've got great. the fresh air and the exercise. Yeah, it's really good. It does you so much good. Tom and Madeline took in their first greyhound from Lorraine Sams's kennel, while Lorraine was based as a trainer at Crayford. They appreciate the need for new homes to be found for dogs whose days on the track are now over. There are so um, many greyhounds need rehoming and if we can mm. offer them a good home then we'd like to think that we'll mm. be able to, as long as we're fit and healthy to do so, yes, then we walk we'll them. We're, we're happy to take, take them. them. We, we always recommend them to people, don't we? Yes. Everybody we meet yes. recommend them. And as I say, there's an awful lot of people now that have greyhounds and we meet them on the walks and usually go out. I mean, it's, it's an, it's an unofficial it's social club, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it is round here. A picture tells a thousand yeah. words. Suffice to say, our king is enjoying his retirement. He's not got a care in the world. Lucky him. So he's from, basically from day one. That's the way he's been. Chilled. Just chilled. chilled. He loves it. He does what he wants, within reason, and um, it's fine. We're happy, oh. just to see them happy. Dogs are seen too before anything else, aren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dogs yeah. come first, I'm yeah. afraid. They are a commitment. <laughs> You know, oh, and yes. if you want enjoyment out of them, you have to put it in, and they will give you back in bucket loads. Oh, they? absolutely! They give it back in bucket loads. If you, if you if you look after them properly, you'll have no problems whatsoever, none at all. You know, anybody's thinking about getting a dog, they're the dogs to go for. They are so good. They they quit, pick up very very quickly. They're not slow dogs. They're not silly dogs, um, and they just fall into the routine of life. You know, it, they're really good, very easy, very easy dogs. Mm. I've had dogs in the past that have been really hard work and perhaps, for me, in my face too much, um, whereas now they will settle down and do their own little thing so that I can carry on doing my bits and pieces and then we all go out and enjoy ourselves together. You know, so they, I recommend Greyhounds, 101%. Coming up after the break, all the action from the first round heats of the